Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Call Me Meech, and I'm back here with another NBA 2K22 No Money Spent My Team episode for you guys, man. So as you all can see, we did it. All right, we finished the grind. See you right there in the top right hand corner, man. Level 40. So you know who's home. But before we go ahead and get into all that, man, I do want to go ahead and say if you are subscribed to the channel to this point, I do want to thank you in advance. I definitely do appreciate all you guys' support. Now, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. That way, you do not ever miss a new video. And if at any point during this video, you do rock with the channel, vibe with me, whatever the case is, man, go ahead and drop a like as it does help us get recommended. All right. So as you all know, I do my no money spent videos a little bit different. You know, I, I don't go in and show gameplay. I just I just don't. <laughs> I don't like watching it, so I'm not going to show it. That just is what it is. But what I am going to do today, as you can see, we are on the day of the $250,000 tournament. So if you all are doing that, good luck to you all, man. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about that, man. That tournament is something else. But we're talking about no money spent, right? So how did we get there? So what I'm going to mainly be talking about is kind of my journey through it and, and kind of my, my thoughts really on all of this. Um, and then I'm also going to talk about really um, kind of how I approach the season, how I'm approaching going into next season, man. So it's going to kind of be a wrap up video um, of this season. Um, and we will go from there. Sorry, guys. season. Let's just, the season in general, man. I'm just gonna say this thing. I've done level 40 grinds. I did like a lot last year. Okay, for some reason this one just felt so long. Man. It felt so long to the point where I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this thing again. Like, I, season two, man. They're really gonna have to show me some for me to have to do it again. Cause man, th this thing was a grind. I tell you, it was definitely a grind, man. So. We definitely got through quite a lot of agendas, man, to finish it off, but we end up doing it and that's all that matters. So we do have Pink Diamond, Carmelo Anthony. Show you my team. Actually, I'll show you my team right now, man. This is kind of, this is how my team is looking. Um, as of now, there are a few changes that I do need to make, but I kind of like my team so far, man. So as you can see, this is how I've constructed my team. You see Carmelo. I feel like I will need another center eventually, but right now Ibaka's still kind of holding it down for me, man. I did get Kawhi Leonard, um, and this Dennis Robin, man, surprisingly, surprisingly, kind of goes crazy. Him and Draymond, it's like two six seven dudes on my backup center, but like, I don't know what it is about them, man. They just they compete bigger than their size. So this is kind of how I have it. You know, Walt was my starter at one point, but just based on the lineups that i'm running Kyrie is actually starting right now for how much longer i don't know it's just that offensively he just gives me a little something but defensively my lord he gets killed he gets killed really really bad all right so as you can see i have like two auctionable cards in my lineup guys so i was going to kind of lead into what i'm going to talk about next and like no money spent and, and kind of how i approach it okay so you see i have 317k uh mt as well um so what i kind of did guys really um i did play a lot of this okay like 85 41 it's a lot of error codes but who really cares um but i played i played this quite a bit now i don't have ml card but you know i you saw i do have gush gerard so this most is giving you packs man so like as you get packs and everything like that um yeah i mean you're just opening these man like all these things have something in it you can sell okay something in it you can sell I also did play quite a bit of this draft mode. If you already don't know, man, I'm sure you already heard. This mode is the most rewarding mode, token-wise, um, MT-wise. I haven't got Glenn. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get Glenn by the season end. I just, I, I just don't know. But um, I do have a few more tickets available. So playing this mode really does get your tokens. It gets your MT up. It, it goes crazy. All right. So if I would say one of the big things with no money spent is doing this mode right here, draft mode. Okay. Like I, I promise this mode, you can get a diamond contract out of here. And actually, I think I have one in my binder right now. Diamond contracts go from anywhere from 25 to 33,000 at times. Um, so I've gotten diamond contracts from there, MT tokens, just a lot of stuff, guys. Now, another thing that also kind of went into my no money um, spend experience is uh, really these packs. Okay. So, like, 
these packs i'm gonna just go to my pack market right quick so like any of these packs you know um go consumables uh, standard deluxe packs that you know they give out um what happens is when you open these guys like let's say okay like for instance badges boost contracts okay so it was at a point where i have so many contracts you know i have stacks of 20 stacks of 20 so i'm selling those off um any player cards that were coming out of here i was also keeping as you can see from my collection like if i go to the base set i did complete a few of these just for like tokens and to do my luka Doncic, but like i didn't really buy a lot of these like i bought these two sets i bought those two off accumulated mt that was just to get luca but like look at this guys like you see how many cards i kind of have in my collection and i've that's not me buying any of these that's just kind of holding um and it gives you a crutch of mt if you ever need it um because as you can see if you go into some of these base sets and like just go to like some of these amethysts like 11 10 000, um it's just kind of crazy for an amethyst but those prices um, are definitely there for you to take advantage of so i would say kind of like not fully collecting but like hoarding <laughs> quite a bit of stuff does come in handy at least is what i found in this game um and another thing that that comes with is the whole collector level as you can see i'm only at like 518 but if you keep collecting like you actually you get pretty good rewards so collecting in a sense but making sure you're kind of being mindful of the auction house now what that mean by that is as you can see i do have kind of like some rubies and things um some rubies that actually have been here so like even if you're just getting you know 2000 whatever the case for a ruby like this that is going to drop eventually even more so kind of getting those out of your collection um also things like i've kept a few cards for like xp and stuff but like like even like this guys even if you're just getting three four thousand it all adds up all right now another thing i want you to guys to look at and this may be specifically it does happen throughout the season but specifically now and if you didn't take advantage of it man you are missing out badges and shoe boots you need to keep an eye on those guys because the prices for these things are absolutely ridiculous like right now badges are very elevated um, because of the 250k qualifier so people are trying to get all their badges but Keep in mind, like sometimes you'll come in here, like I mean, guys, like even just think about it. Two, let's say twenty five hundred for this. I sell two of these is five thousand. Like it may seem minimal, but I'm telling you, everything adds up, guys. So keep track of kind of going through your badges, really those main badges, especially now when cards are not coming with a lot of badges. Guys are always looking for badges. This will get a little cheaper through you know as the year goes on because more cars are going to come with more badges people will need to buy them so if you have collections like this guys just to make sure you take advantage and selling those badges off now some other things i did look at yeah, these boots okay and guys when i tell you that i had a three-point shoe boost and i sold it for like twenty thousand, i had two of them i got forty thousand off two shoe boosts. like imagine paying that for a boost okay like i know some people want to build those diamond shoes i just don't see the point of it i'll just go buy a cart that has the stats and more of where i want them um it, but like some of these guys just pay attention to these kind of as it goes because diamond shoes are always going to be a thing so keep your eye open on these shoe boots because they actually do go for a lot even some of these gold ones at times will go for a little bit and the thing is guys if like if you it's just sitting in your collection so you might as well sell it and get some mt all right um the other thing is diamond shoes all right so like diamond shoes you just got to keep a look at this guys because like look i mean four thousand whatever the case is five thousand like i'm just gonna put this up for 4500 right now um just keep an eye on these diamond shoes guys because these go i've sold some diamond shoes for like 20k like i mean some go for even more than that so you just want to make sure you're really looking out for your collection um and, and kind of keeping your team as free and necessary as possible like the biggest thing that you can see is that i'm not buying a card unless i absolutely need it like i absolutely needed a lockdown defender like an actual lockdown defender and so that's why i spent 60k on Kawhi, and i you know paid 11 or 15k for this dennis robin just because of what it provides but as you can see everybody else i i've grinded for um you know token market luca tto this was five unlimited games token market level 40 grind token market like you just have to really 
take advantage and know what you need on your team. Another thing with that that's gonna keep you away, guys, you gotta stay away from the content drops, okay? <laughs> and what I mean by that is not fully stay away, but do not get sucked into buying these packs, ever. Just, just don't do it. Like, you can get lucky, but the chances of you getting lucky, man, I'm telling you, it is not great. And then you want to go through guys even with these content drops like you don't always need to upgrade these cards like yeah some of these cards may be okay to add whatever the case is and every now and then you know you do need an upgrade but if you look at my team flat Hawaii was one of the first content drops okay um all of these are free so i'm not even gonna say that and then dennis Rodman was a little more recent but like guys i'm not upgrading every single content drop and one of the main things that will keep you away from that um, it's finding cards that are either badged out or badged them out yourself. Like I got this for 60K, but it was after Kawhi was already kind of, you know, he was out for a while. So people kind of finally stopped bidding so much on them. But having cards badged out will keep you um, no money spent because you don't feel the need to upgrade every single time 2K comes out with content, which is twice a week. It can get overwhelming, man. So you just gotta kind of be grounded, um, stick to your guns, and instead of always upgrading to new players and losing MT that way, sometimes you just need to badge some guys up, man. You're gonna be getting badges over and over, so sometimes you may even have to buy the badges. Just apply the badges to your players, and then that way you keep them competitive against anybody else that's coming in. So um, it's, it's kind of what I did, man. Like I said, it was a pretty long journey. But we do have Carmelo Anthony. Our team's looking good. We have 317K. And we're looking very, very good going into season two um, to see kind of what happens there. You know, um, I probably won't make be making too many changes to my team. I may buy a Dikembe Mutombo. It's maybe the only thing that I may do to upgrade my center position. But um, that's really it, man. So season one wrap up, no money spent journey. We finished level 40, man. Um, and it feels pretty good, man. So that's pretty much all the content, man. Hopefully I gave some tips or something that kind of helps you guys out um, on your journeys, whether it be no money spent, money spent, whatever, man. <laughs> but that's pretty much all the content, man. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Like the video. Till next time, guys.